Second Nation to another episode of Inside the Hive. Joining me today is Matt and Brayden, and they are men swimmers on the swim team this year. All right, guys, Matt, you're a freshman. How did this freshman year go for you? It went pretty well for me. Um, it was hard, a lot of work. I bet. <laughs> yeah, a lot of mental training, a lot of um, dry land we had to do, but in the end, it all came out pretty well. Good, I'm so glad to hear that. And for you, Brayden, you're a sophomore, so tell us a little bit about how your second year went. It went a lot better than last year. We had um, more boys this year, we had seven of us, and um, you know, it just helped create that team atmosphere and that get the vibes up in practice and stuff, so that was good. How was the team atmosphere this year? Um, well, I guess that's me. Um, <laughs> it, was, it was a lot better than last year. Um, you know, we brought in a lot of freshmen that were excited to swim and start the season, so bringing that into the pool and stuff was definitely a plus. Yes, I've heard great things about the team and that you guys have a great team atmosphere, so that's always nice to have, especially that team support in such a difficult sport. Um, OACs was finished up a couple weeks ago. How did the OAC meet go for you? Um, individually, um, we had a lot of great swims. Um, I know I had some lifetime best swims, and I know a lot of people on the team did. Um, there were quite a few records broke, so that was that was good on the men's side. Awesome, and I heard you broke a couple records as well. Yes. Tell us about that. It was pretty awesome to beat um, some of the records. Oh yeah. And I made some pretty good times. Not my personal best, but still, I'm getting down there. But it was pretty awesome. And what's your main stroke? Fly. Fly, and that is a very difficult stroke. Yes. Been there, done that. Well, <laughs> definitely. Well, good for you, and good for you too. Um, I'm glad you guys had a great season, and we look forward to a lot more. Yes. All right, thank you. And up next are the women of the women's swim team. Here with me is Tabitha and Jackie of the women's swim team. All right, welcome you two. And you guys finished up great this season. Um, you guys finished at the OACs. But before that, I want to talk a lot about a little bit about how your season went personally. So. Jackie, how did your season go? Um, it went really well. I had some great swims, swam better during season, had a great OAC. Um, it was nice having a full team yes. and having those people at the end of the lane. Such a cool experience looking down and see you have teammates there, not just you know a couple, but you had right. a team. It was really nice, really nice. Good. And you're a freshman? Yeah. So I tell am us a freshman. little bit about how your freshman year went. Uh, I felt like my freshman year went really well. It was it's different compared to swimming in high school that's a lot more competitive and that's certainly a lot more fun yes. and having some upperclassmen to look up to it's actually a really nice experience yeah so jackie and the fellow other or swimmers uh you looked up to how so how, they were just gave, were able to give a lot of advice and to help us with our stroke it, when the coaches couldn't they were always there for us whenever we needed them that's great to hear that's always great to have an upperclassman um this is your third year um, and you yep. came in as a freshman when the swim program started. Yep. How has it evolved over the years? Um, I mean, we did have a rocky start. It's hard to start up a team, but it's just become so much. We're a family. That's what we are. We're so close. We have so many jokes. Um, it's just been a great experience being able to say I was a part of the start. And three years later, still going strong. So great, and it's gotten a lot better from yeah. what I've heard from everybody. So that's awesome to hear. Um, OACs, the biggest meet of the year. That's what you guys prepare for. How did OACs go for you, Tepfa? It was exciting. It was obvious, most definitely the best part of the entire season. Even mm -hmm. though we had great times, whether it be in Florida or just in practice, OACs was definitely one of the most exciting parts of the season. All right, and like I said, you guys prepared for months on months for OACs and the other meets too, but how do you prepare for OACs? Um, it's the whole season. We train really hard. We don't take any days off. Um, we just go at it, keep going at it, keep going at it, and then as we get towards the OECs, it's our favorite time of the season, mm -hmm. we get to rest. Yes. We stop going to morning practice, which is the best time ever. We get to <laughs> sleep in. Um, we start watching a little bit more what we eat. We don't right. put away all the food like we used to. Yes. Um, but, and we just keep it going, stay strong, and relax. Good, and obviously all of that preparation helped you guys beat many records for both DC um, and yourself. So congratulations on a great season, you two. And up next is Coach Athena Miller. Here with me is Coach Athena Miller. Welcome, Coach. You've been here a few times, so. Yes, glad to be back. Yes, me too. All right, so we talked to you um, in the middle of the season about how the season was going. Uh, how would you say the season went all out? Um, I really don't think I could have asked for a better ending. Mm -hmm. um, the kids really worked really hard all season long. Um, the dedication paid off. Um, they were willing to step it up and kind of do some of those harder practices that were asked of them. And 
Then when the taper time came and we got to rest and took those morning practices off, they came to OACs with some fire and it really showed and the record board shows that as well. Tell us about some of the records that stuck out in your mind because you guys had about 15 and a lot of personal bests too. Which one stuck out in your mind? Um, I would say one of the most exciting ones to watch um, were definitely the relays. The relays are kind of always cool to watch oh, yeah. go down and watch the um, swimmers be able to go up and stand on the podium. Um, I think one of the other neat ones is Matt that you saw earlier in his right. 100 and 200 fly. He swam really well. Um, another really awesome surprise was Nate Height in the 100 and 200 backstroke. Um, I think he actually went so fast he surprised himself. So it was <laughs> kind of fun and kind of neat to watch the team come together and kind of see some of those things in action. Oh yeah, most definitely as a coach, that's, a, that's what you work hard for. So that's great to hear. Um, Looking forward, I mean, you just said you finished up OACs great, and that's the hardest meet. Um, looking forward, what do you see in the future for the DC swim program? Um, well, we're hoping to bring another great crew of freshmen in. Um, it's going to be hard to match the freshmen that we've got now. Oh, I bet. Um, their personalities are incredible, and they bring a lot to the table, so we're really trying to get people to match that. Mm -hmm. um, and then our next goal is to actually beat a team at the OAC next year. Yes. Um, this year, we scored more points ever. Um, than we have in the past, so next year we're kind of going to be within reach of actually maybe taking down someone else and oh. not being last, so that's kind of an awesome experience for us. Almost definitely in being an HCAC team, HCAC team in an OAC meet, it's going to be difficult, but you guys came out and swam your best all season, yeah. so that's great to hear. So congratulations on a great season. Thank you. You're welcome. For more information, go to defianceathletics.com.